Hey there, welcome back to After School Psychology. Ever felt like someone might be into you, but you just can't tell for sure? Well, you're not alone. In this video, we'll uncover eight hidden signs that she likes you, but is scared to show it. Get ready to become a pro at decoding those subtle hints. All right, let's kick things off with a behavior we've touched on before, the hot and cold roller coaster. But hang on, because in the context of hidden attraction, this takes on a whole new meaning. When someone likes you but is scared to show it, their behavior can be more erratic than a weather forecast in spring. One day, they're all sunshine and warmth. The next, they're giving you the cold shoulder. But here's the twist. It's not just indecisiveness driving this behavior, it's fear. This fear-driven hot and cold routine might look like this. She laughs at all your jokes and seems genuinely interested in your stories one day. But the next time you see her, she's distant, maybe even a bit dismissive. It's enough to give you emotional whiplash. The key difference here is consistency and inconsistency. If this pattern keeps repeating, it's a good indicator that she's battling between her attraction to you and her fear of showing it. Remember, this isn't about playing games. It's about someone struggling with vulnerability. So if you notice this pattern, a little patience and understanding can go a long way. Just don't let it turn into a never ending guessing game. Sometimes a gentle, open conversation can clear the air. Next up, we have the social media Sherlock. In today's digital age, this is a big one, folks. If she likes you but is scared to show it, she might turn into a bit of a social media detective. Picture this, you post a story on Instagram and within minutes, she's viewed it. You share a tweet and she's quick with a like or a retweet. It's like she's got a sixth sense for your online activity. But here's the kicker. She rarely, if ever, interacts with you directly on these platforms. Why? Because liking your posts or viewing your stories is a low risk way of showing interest. She gets to stay connected with you and know what's going on in your life without putting herself out there too much. It's like window shopping, but for relationships. But be warned, don't fall into the trap of overanalyzing every online interaction. Just because she watched your story about what you had for lunch doesn't mean she's planning your wedding. It's simply a sign that she's interested in keeping tabs on you. And hey, if you're feeling brave, why not test the waters? Post something that invites interaction, like asking for movie recommendations. If she's quick to respond, it might be time to take that conversation offline. Sign three, the friend zone facade. Oh no, the friend zone. It's not just a place where romantic hopes go to die. Sometimes it's actually a sneaky hiding spot for secret crushes. When a girl likes you but is scared to show it, she might go into overdrive trying to convince everyone, including herself, that you're just friends. She'll use the F word, friend that is, a lot when talking about you or to you. You're such a good friend. That's what friends are for. You get the idea. But here's where it gets interesting. While she's verbally friend zoning you, her actions might tell a different story. Does she always seem to find a reason to touch your arm when she's talking to you? Does she laugh a little too hard at your jokes? Even the bad ones. And let's face it, we all have those. Pay attention to how she acts around you compared to her other friends. If you're getting special treatment wrapped up in a just friends package, she might be using the friend zone as a safe space to be close to you without risking rejection. Remember though, if she says you're just friends, treat her like a friend but keep an eye out for these contradictory behaviors. Sign four. Next on our list is the jealousy giveaway. This one's a classic, guys. When someone likes you but is trying to hide it, jealousy has a funny way of blowing their cover. Here's the scene. You're talking to another girl, maybe a classmate or a coworker. Suddenly, the girl you suspect likes you is right there, inserting herself into the conversation. Or maybe she becomes unusually quiet and withdraws. Either way, there's a noticeable change in her behavior, but it's not just about in-person interactions. Pay attention to how she reacts when you mention other girls or when your female friends comment on your social media posts. Does she try to subtly dig for more information? Does she become dismissive or change the subject? Now, I'm not saying you should try to make her jealous on purpose. That's a one-way ticket to drama town. And trust me, you don't want to visit. But if you notice these reactions happening naturally, it could be a sign that she's harboring some hidden feelings. Remember, jealousy isn't always a green-eyed monster. Sometimes it's more like a shy, blushing creature that's accidentally revealing its feelings. So keep an eye out for these subtle or not so subtle signs of jealousy. All right, pause for a second and let's hear from you. Which of these signs have you experienced most often? A, the hot and cold roller coaster. B, the social media Sherlock. C, the friend zone facade. D, the jealousy giveaway. Let us know in the comments if you've experienced something different. Now let's move on to our next sign. Sign five, let's talk about the mirroring effect. 
No, we're not entering a house of mirrors at a carnival. Though dating can sometimes feel like that, am I right? Mirroring is when someone subconsciously imitates your body language, speech patterns, or attitudes. It's a natural human behavior that happens when we feel connected to someone. But when it comes to hidden attraction, mirroring can be a dead giveaway. Does she tend to adopt similar postures as you when you're talking? If you cross your arms, does she do the same a few moments later? Maybe she starts using phrases or slang that you use frequently. Here's the interesting part. While she might be mirroring your body language, she might also be avoiding direct eye contact. It's like her body is saying, I like you, while her eyes are saying, don't notice me. This combination of mirroring and shy eye contact can be a strong indicator that she's into you, but feeling a bit nervous about it. So next time you're chatting, pay attention to more than just her words. Her body might be telling you a whole different story. Sign six. Next up, we have the proximity paradox. This is when she always seems to be around you, but acts like it's totally coincidental. It's like she's playing her own version of accidentally on purpose. You might notice that she often ends up in the same places as you. Maybe she starts showing up at your favorite coffee shop or suddenly develops an interest in that obscure hobby you mentioned once. But here's the paradox part. While she's creating these opportunities to be near you, she might act distant or even a little awkward when you actually interact. It's like she wants to be in your orbit, but she's scared of getting too close and burning up. She's trying to balance her desire to be around you with her fear of making her feelings obvious. So if you find yourself bumping into her more often than usual, but those encounters are a mix of proximity and awkwardness, you might be experiencing the proximity paradox. It's her way of being close to you while still protecting her heart. Sign seven, let's talk about the overcompensation game. This is when she goes out of her way to appear completely uninterested in you. So much so that it actually becomes suspicious. You know how in movies, when someone is trying to act natural, they end up looking anything but? That's kind of what's happening here. She might laugh a little too loudly at someone else's jokes, deliberately avoid sitting next to you, or go on and on about how you're such a good buddy. But here's the thing, all this effort to appear uninterested often has the opposite effect. It's like she's trying so hard to convince herself and everyone else that she doesn't have feelings for you, that it actually becomes a sign that she does. The key here is to look for behaviors that seem exaggerated or out of character. If she's usually laid back but becomes weirdly formal around you, or if she suddenly starts talking about how great being single is whenever you're in earshot, she might be playing the overcompensation game. But here's the thing, all this effort to appear uninterested often has the opposite effect. It's like she's trying so hard to convince herself and everyone else that she doesn't have feelings for you, that it actually becomes a sign that she does. The key here is to look for behaviors that seem exaggerated or out of character. If she's usually laid back but becomes weirdly formal around you, or if she suddenly starts talking about how great being single is whenever you're in earshot, she might be playing the overcompensation game. Sign eight. Last but not least, we have the selective memory. This is when she seems to remember every little detail about you, but plays it cool like it's no big deal. Did you mention once in passing that you love a particular band? Don't be surprised if she casually brings up their latest album the next time you talk. Maybe she remembers your coffee order or your dog's name, even though you only mentioned it once. But here's the catch. When you point out her impressive memory, she'll likely brush it off. Oh, I just happen to remember random things, she might say, trying to downplay it. This selective memory is her subconscious way of showing that she pays attention to you and values what you say. But by pretending it's not a big deal, she's trying to hide how much she actually cares. So if you find her recalling details about you that even you might have forgotten, but acting like it's totally normal, you might be dealing with a case of selective memory. All right, we've covered these eight hidden signs, but let's keep it real for a moment. While these signs can be helpful, remember that everyone's different. As one of our viewers pointed out, if you're getting mixed messages or signals they ain't interested, move on and keep looking. There's wisdom in that. And here's something crucial to remember. Your mental health is the most important thing. If you're feeling too confused or stressed out trying to decipher these signals, maybe she isn't worth your time. It's okay to prioritize your own well-being. So what do you think? Have you experienced these signs? Or do you have a completely different take? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, stay curious.